start live streaming now. Thank you very much. Okay, so good afternoon. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming to this info and sharing session about double degree program between the School of Life Sciences and Technology by the Master Program in Biotechnology with the Graduate School of Engineering from uh, Osaka University. So uh, this afternoon, we're going to listen to the um, introduction to biotechnology program in the School of Life Sciences and Technology by myself. I'm Carlia Meta, the uh, head of this uh, master program in biotechnology. And then after that, we will uh, listen to Professor Takeshi Osama presentation about the double degree program at Osaka University, followed by a sharing session from Ibu Marcelina as uh, the double degree program supervisor at ITB. And then later we will have, uh, well, uh, it was planned that we were going to have two alumni of the double degree program, uh, Kafa Riz and Ka Adinda, but uh, Ka Adinda is uh, in hospital now for a good reason. She's in labor, so don't worry, she's not sick or something. So only Kafaris is going to uh, share his experience with us uh, today. But you can ask as many as questions to him. Uh, don't worry, uh, he has uh, so many experience to share with you. So uh, let me start the first agenda which is the introduction to master program in biotechnology of School of Life Sciences and Technology at ITB. Uh, so our study program uh, has been accredited as excellent earlier this year, earlier this year, yes, earlier this year. So it's been a great pleasure for us to uh, announce to you that we are uh, accredited as excellent by our uh, national accreditation uh, institution, Banpente. Uh, this program, Master Program in Biotechnology, uh, we have three tracks. Uh, so what are these three tracks? So we have biotechnology in industry, biotechnology in health, and biotechnology in aquaculture. So uh, in biotechnology in industry, some of the defining courses are bioprocess, microbial biotechnology, engineering of fermentation and metabolism, and enzyme engineering. So here in biotechnology industry, uh, most of the students uh, will do research uh, relating to microbes and how to, how to apply them in industrial processes, uh, various industrial processes. And then the second track is biotechnology in health with uh, some defining courses like cell and tissue engineering for biomedics, uh, stem cell, nutrigenomics, vaccine and diagnostic kit development. Um, here, the, the research, we don't do clinical trials so because we are not the medicine faculty, but here we uh, develop technologies, biotechnology related to uh, biomedics. So uh, maybe Ibu Marcel later can also can also explain an example of her research because she's uh, she's also the one of the researchers in biotechnology in health. <clears throat> and then the third track is biotechnology in agriculture, with some defining courses like cell and tissue engineering for agriculture, molecular breeding plant stress biotechnology and aquaculture. So for example, the research in this field is um, the research on the small RNAs for biopesticide, which is my own research. So yeah, we do, we do a lot of um, research in crop uh, as well as native Indonesian plants here in uh, biotechnology and aquaculture. <clears throat> Moving on. So the curriculum overview of those three tracks uh, we have 18 credits for uh, the compulsory 18 credits, so compulsory for or meaning either you are uh, enrolling in bioindustry or biotechnology in health or biotechnology in agriculture, you will have to uh, fulfill these 18 credits uh, of courses on the compulsory for all. And then each tracks, um, each tracks, we have 12 credits, compulsory credit for each track. And then uh, you are uh, obliged to also take six credits of elective courses. 
So uh, when you're enrolling, so on the first semester, uh, you will take around 10 credits, eight for compulsory, two for uh, elective. And then on the second semester, you will take 12 credits, eight uh, for the strike compulsory and four for master research um, course. So you, the, the research has already uh, started on the second semester. And then on the third semester, you will take 12 credits for track compulsory to elective and then four credits for the research. And then uh, on the final semester, you will take two credits for the elective course and then uh, two credits for thesis and final defense. So in total, this <coughs> will uh, be 36 uh, credits for, for as, the, as one of the requirements for your graduation. And then uh, I would like to emphasize that you in master in biotechnology program, you will be conducting research started from the second semester uh, up to the final semester of course, totaling for um, totaling for 10, uh, 10 credits. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay, so here I would like to show you some research activities in bio industry. So we have research on microbial enhanced oil recovery by Philip and Barry Corrosion. And then these are some of the facilities that we have. Uh, of course, we still, we have a lot more facilities than this. It's just uh, the two that we'd like to show you. And then for uh, research activities in biomedics, <clears throat> for example, this is, I believe, uh, Ibu Marcel's research uh, on the engineering of animal cells and tissues. Perhaps they're working on cancer cells or um, uh, any other animal cells here. And then here, uh, some examples of research activities in agriculture. So we grow them from tissue culture. This is a, a sterile room for the uh, tissue culture. And we also do research on microalgae. Um, as you know, microalgae now is very popular in biodiesel, also for the uh, feed, feed for the aquaculture. And here uh, we also breed uh, special aquaculture commodities uh, for our research. Uh, so I told you previously that in uh, Master in Biotechnology program at the School of Life Sciences and Technology, ITB, uh, you will conduct a total of 10 credits for the research. So starting from semester three, four credits, semester, sorry, semester two, four credits, and then semester three, four credits, and the final semester for two credits. Uh, and then <clears throat> on the first semester, in the first semester, you will uh, design your research project um, and then the research project with, with one of the supervisors from uh, eight, our expertise groups here at SITH. So here, the first um, the first expertise group that we have is agrotechnology and bioproduct, and then um, physiology, animal development, and biomedical sciences. So the ones the ones with a yellow circle are the expertise groups that mostly. Uh, supervise the students here in biotechnology. Not that it is impossible to work with the other uh, expertise group. It is possible, of course. Uh, I just would like to show you the, the four major expertise groups that until now uh, work mostly with, with a master program in biotechnology. So uh, the track of agriculture, agriculture track. Usually uh, the students will be working with supervisors from, from here, plant science and biotechnology or genetics and molecular biotechnology. And also not impossible with microbial biotechnology when you're working on the interaction of plant and uh, microbes or such um, when you're, in, when you're developing like biofertilizer, uh, also the, the, the research will involve microbial biotechnology um, researchers from the microbial biotechnology expertise group. And then in a bio industry track, uh, usually or mostly the students will be working with the supervisors from microbial biotechnology group or genetics and molecular uh, biotechnology. But then I 
as I told you, it's also not impossible to also work, for example, with agrotechnology and bioproduct uh, technology, or perhaps with ecology and maybe also with forestry uh, technology. Um, and as for the biotechnology in health track, uh, most of the students are working under the supervision of the uh, supervisors from physiology, animal development, and biomedical science uh, expertise group or genetics and molecular biotechnology or some also are involving the supervisors from microbial biotechnology. So actually this expertise group in uh, School of Life Sciences uh, and Technology, they, they're not individually working only their expertise group, but we're intertwined we collaborate and uh, maybe you're also asking whether it's possible or not to also work with a supervisor from outside of our school. Yes, of course it is possible with other faculty, even with other institutions. So for example, if you would like to do a double degree program with us, or if, you, if you're interested to, to apply to be a regular students here, it is uh, possible to, to do your uh, final project research not only with the supervisors uh, from one of these expertise groups, but also from the expertise groups uh, in other faculty at ITB or even from other institutions. So yeah, if it is needed, of course, it will be facilitated uh, for your research. Okay, uh, moving on. So for double degree program students, uh, it is the same. So it depends on your research project here when you're coming to ITB and then, uh, we will assign the, the supervisor from one of this one of this expertise group, or perhaps uh, also from the other institution of faculty. All right. So uh, for our alumni of biotechnology, currently uh, most of our alumni are working in academics and a low or higher education um, as a teacher or lecturer or even researcher in uh, higher education. And then the same proportion of our alumni are currently conducting doctoral studies. Um, also uh, a big chunk of our alumni are working in public companies um, and some in uh, BUM and also in research institutes uh, and yeah, as entrepreneur, also government working in a government institute and others. Uh, some of our notable alumni, alumni so uh, yeah, unfortunately, Adinda is not coming today. Uh, Adinda is a recent graduate from Osaka University. So Adinda, Adinda did a double degree program to Osaka, and then she also did uh, her PhD, her doctoral study there. So that's why, uh, that's why it would be lovely actually to hear to to hear her experience uh, of her studies there because uh, her, her double degree program from biotechnology then lead to uh, her uh, postdoc to her PhD study there. Uh, but it's yeah, it's unfortunately we can't do that uh, today. And then uh, we also have Nathaniel Stevens. She, he also did uh, a double degree program to Osaka. He's currently a rector at Calvin Institute of Technology. And we also have Ricky Mandela Putra. Uh, he is a cluster food protection specialist at Petra Tetra of Indonesia. He um, is not. He didn't join um, double degree program, but he's also uh, our alumni. And of course, I believe like perhaps 90% of you coming today already know him in Rarudiansa. He's very famous currently in Indonesia uh, because of his involvement in the development of uh, AstraZeneca vaccine. So he's uh, the product development at PT Bio Pharma. So uh, while he is now uh, conducting his PhD study, actually he's uh, he's also um, associated with uh, PT Biopharma. Okay, so for those of you interested to apply for this double degree program between Osaka University and ITB, or for those of you interested to apply for uh, to enroll on the first semester of academic year. 
2021-2022 as a regular student. The selection will be open in three batches, but started in January. So I already uh, received some questions from, from some of you who asking when uh, biotechnology pro the selection to biotechnology program will be open. So be patient, it will be open in January. And then uh, if accepted, you will be, uh, you will be uh, starting the you will be you will be studying with us starting from january uh, sorry starting from august 2022 okay so the double degree program uh, why should you join this program because the tuition fee is waived. So for our student here from ITB to go to Osaka, you don't have to pay for the tuition fee, uh, or vice versa for Osaka student coming here to ITB, you also don't have to pay for the tuition fee. And then um, another excellent thing is that you will receive two degrees, both from ITB and from Osaka. And then you will conduct two research uh, at ITB under your supervisor here as well and in, in Osaka. And then uh, you will receive credit transfer, cultural experience. This is very, very um, valuable, the cultural experience. Uh, and then the international network. So I would, I would put an emphasis on the last two points because cultural experience, the cultural experience here studying at ITB, well, it's, you, you, Perhaps you can get the same science here studying at ITB and doing research at ITB, but uh, you will be missing the cultural experience, especially with this international cultural experience, as well as the uh, valuable network for your future uh, compared if you're like uh, going to Osaka for this double degree program. Uh, so how, how is, is it done? The credit transfer here is 10 credits uh, that you can uh, get from your time in Osaka University. So in biotechnology, SITH, ITB, you, it's a compulsory for the, for the students to finish 38 credits for, for the graduation within two years. And for the uh, Osaka, Osaka students, it is compulsory to finish 30 credits, but perhaps uh, Omasa Sensei or Sastia Sensei later can um, uh, confirm on this. So for our students, uh, during your time there, 10 credits of your courses that you take at Osaka would be transferred uh, to your credit here at ITB. So for example, if you are required to uh, finish 38 credits, then you will only need to finish 26 credits here at ITB, and the other 10 will be transferred for your uh, time at Osaka. Um, here also we have some uh, pictures of our students going to Osaka University for the double degree program. And on the right hand side, we also have two Osaka students uh, came to us uh, for this program. This is Kana and this is Arisa. Uh, they're very lovely students, so we're really looking forward to also receiving uh, more Asaka students in the future. It's, it's very lovely and the friendship uh, between, between, between the Osaka student and ITB student lasts until now. So I remember, for example, Kana, I met her in 2000, 2017 when I just uh, came back from my PhD study. Uh, and then until until now, from time to time, we still chat on uh, social media. So yeah, it's 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 very valuable the the network that we uh, we have until now, the relationship that we have until now. Um, okay, so regarding the time frame. Um, because all the attendants here from ITB are the students who are enrolled. Sorry, maybe not all, but I, I will give you the example for the student, the time frame for students who are enrolled in August. Uh, and then uh, if you need to ask later, then ask. But then uh, this would be more or less the same for you who are enrolled in, in January. It's just that you have to shift a little bit of the time. Um, so if you're enrolled at ITB in August, 
as then you will need to apply to Osaka University um, in April or until May. I'm not, I'm not, I don't remember the exact dates, but then the application is open between April to May. And then the announcement of acceptance uh, will be open in June. And then if you're accepted, then you, you will have to fly to Osaka around September, I suppose, because then you will start your lecture uh, in Osaka in October. So I say fly because I'm very, I'm very optimistic that next year we will be able to fly to overseas again to do our studies or our research. So yeah, um, if, if things permit, then you will fly to Osaka in September to start studying there in October. So this will be 2022 because we are now here to 2021, so October 2022, you will be starting your study there. And then uh, within uh, your uh, time there at Osaka University, you will have to take 20 credits uh, and then you, you will have to, to do master research and then a final defense at Osaka University here at the end of your stay. Sorry, I missed this. So uh, in the first year here at ITB, you will have to finish 22 credits and then do some of your research here at ITB. So it would be really great if you have a, if you have a, one research, I mean, one big theme of a research that part of the research is conducted here at ITB and the other part uh, is conducted at Osaka. So that, so, uh, so it's, it's a one big topic. It's not that you're, doing two different topics here at ITB and Osaka. It would take a much longer time if you do so. And then once you uh, do your master of defense uh, at Osaka University, you will fly back here to ITB. And then uh, you will uh, finish, you will need to take another four credits uh, because only 10, remember, only 10 uh, are transferred uh, from your time at Osaka. So 10 uh, plus 32. 22, it's only 32. So you will still need four credits uh, to fulfill 36 credits. Uh, during your final semester here, uh, you need to take another four credits and then you can finish your research here if, if there is still anything that you have to do uh, here in uh, ITB at ITB. And then you will also uh, do your uh, defense at ITB. So, it is supposed to be here perhaps at the end because there will be uh, two credits of uh, thesis and final defense and then the other two credits perhaps for elective courses. So your master defense will be, will be at the end of uh, December or yeah, sometime here in December after the semester. End. Okay, so yeah, that is the, the time frame for, for this uh, study. This is for ITB students who would like to go to Osaka. For Osaka students who would like to go to ITB, perhaps you can uh, talk about that uh, uh, later, but I'm not familiar with your, I'm not familiar with uh, your, um, with your time frame there at Osaka. I'm sorry, like how many credits you should finish there and so on. Okay, so I think that would be all from you. The introduction to biotechnology master program at ITB, as well as the double degree program between um, biotechnology and um, Osaka University. So the, the next agenda, the next agenda would be the explanation from Osaka which will be delivered by uh, Omasa Sensei. So to Omasa Sensei, the time is yours. Okay, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, I'll share my slide and also they explain briefly some the Osaka University and also the my laboratories. Okay? Okay, shares. Hello, uh, can you hear me? So my name is Takeshi Omasa, uh, Osaka University, Japan. I'm the uh, professor uh, at the Department of Biotechnologies. So the, uh, I very briefly some the, uh, uh, explain about uh, the, uh, my laboratory and also the, uh, sometimes you can see the, some of the uh, 
a movie uh, in the uh, Osaka University uh, uh, near my laboratory. Some of some of the uh, uh, pictures. Uh, you can see some of the very beautiful uh, cherry blossoms. Uh, if you enter uh, Osaka University, you can enjoy such kind of the cherry blossom. Uh, actually, some of the uh, this uh, cherry blossom located for the uh, small pond uh, in Osaka University. So, Osaka University is a Suita campus. We are located in Suita City. Suita City is a very uh, a nice city and also very convenient and also the largest uh, campus uh, of the Osaka University. I'm the professor of the Osaka University and also the, uh, I'm the uh, part of the executive assistant to the uh, Osaka University president, especially the, for the focus on the education. Also, the, uh, my background in the uh, cell culture technology, and now is the president of the Japanese Association for Animal Cell Technology. And also, the, I am the member of the AFOB, uh, Asian Federation of Biotechnology, uh, Deputy Secretary General, and also the advisory boards. So, the, uh, we have some the, uh, strong uh, network of the biotechnology uh, field in uh, Japan. Also, that you can enjoy and also Japanese life and also science and engineering. So the, I would like to show the, my picture here. This is a, a movie from the, my building. Can you see? Okay. Enter yes, my yes. laboratory. And also enter my laboratory. So you can see here my picture or something that many souvenir from the foreign student. So if you enter here, the, uh, this is the right Chinese character, my laboratory. Uh, actually, some day I'm not some in my laboratory now, <laughs> but uh, uh, if I stay in my laboratory like this, okay. So next is uh, my presentation. Uh, yes. So the my background is the biochemical engineering. The biochemical engineering. I'm not sure it's some not so many people that know the uh, chem, uh, biochemical engineering, but is a chemical biochemical engineering is a combination of the uh, bio. Biology plus chemical engineering. So biochemical engineering firstly is started for then the first textbook in the world. Uh, this is some of the biochemical engineering of 1963 that published. Uh, published by the Professor Aiba, uh, Professor Humphrey, uh, Professor Millis. Professor Millis, she is some of the Australian professor. Professor Humphrey, so he is a United States professor, but Professor Aiba, uh, he is some of the professor of the Osaka universities. Uh, also, when I am the very young, yeah, young <laughs> master course student, I learn from the uh, directly from the Professor Ibas. Uh, this is some of the between some of the concept of the chemical engineering to biotechnology, biological field. Textbooks is mention about of the, some of the difference between some biology and also their uh, chemical engineer or engineers. Of course, is a biochemical engineering the focus on the biological process on the industrial scale, and also there's some background or theory or engineering construction. Uh, Roa Sado is some of the uh, Professor Hisaharu Taguchi. He's a very famous is the IC Biotech head of the uh, Osaka University. Now is a Fujiyama Sensei, the IC Biotech head, but is a, uh, he is a very, very the first. Uh, one of the first uh, established person for the IC Biotech. He also writes some of the uh, very many various type of the biochemical engineering book. Uh, this biochemical engineering uh, focuses on the model development in vitro laboratory scale to industrial application. My laboratory is uh, uh, normally the, some of the teacher of the biochemical engineering class, but sometimes I focus on the, some of the biology itself or some of the changing of the uh, um, uh, uh, mammalian cell itself because of the uh, we are combination with uh, some chemical engineering aspects and also the biotechnology and the biologies. Uh, my laboratory is a uh, uh, member is uh, some of the I am the mem uh, Osaka University uh, professor. Uh, I graduated from Osaka University is, uh, in that time is uh, old name is a uh, fermentation technologies. And also the, my associate professor, Yuichi Koga, the, uh, he is also graduate of Osaka University. And also the, my assistant professor, Noriko Yamano uh, Adachi, the, uh, she also the graduate of Osaka University. So, so the, also the, my laboratory has some special appointed associate professor, assistant professor, two members, two technicians, three secretary at the PhD course, master course. 
uh, including some of the uh, previously the DDP stuffs, and also female, also the 80, uh, 46 percentage. Uh, sometimes uh, 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 many students are coming from the foreign countries, some of the, for example, Indonesia, Thailand, Nigeria, China, Korea, United States, or Germany. Sometimes the stuff is a Vietnamese, so a stuff is a Slovenian. So uh, uh, sometimes the visiting students coming from the sometimes Mexico or some United States. Well, soon that we will there uh, from the one student from Tunisia. Because of the uh, our laboratory focused on the uh, uh, biologic production, so many people, many students, uh, and the many companies are very interested in the my biotechnology, especially the uh, focus on the biologics. Biologics is the, a kind of uh, the name of the biopharmaceuticals uh, containing the vaccine, therapeutic antibody. Uh, recently, some of the uh, 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 for example, the IPS or stem cell uh, for regenerative medicine or uh, cell medicine itself. In the, uh, this is some of the graph of the top 10 uh, uh, selling drugs in the world. Uh, you can see some of the MAB. This is some monoclonal antibodies and other biopharmaceuticals. So because uh, only the 20 years ago, uh, the test 10 selling drugs is almost with some of the uh, chemical compounds. But gradually increase of the ratio of the, uh, this uh, uh, biopharmaceuticals. Now, a dramatically change the situation from the 2012. Uh, almost uh, 70 percentage is uh, some biologics. So then, uh, these biologics is produced by mammalian cell, recombinant mammalian cell. So we are focused on the recombinant mammalian cell. <coughs> also, then we are focused on the therapeutic antibodies. Antibody is not antibiotics, very uh, large molecules, and every the, a human <coughs> containing some, as uh, they are having over the uh, immunoglobulin, uh, this is antibodies. Antibodies are very uh, a good, uh, very the, uh, important function. Attack over the embedded uh, some bacteria or toxin or sometimes in the uh, virus. And the host also protected. Sometimes they are recognized of the cancer uh, cell and also they attack the cancer cells. So therapeutic antibody, one of the uh, important uh, <coughs> drugs. Uh, uh, and also the, uh, many uh, pharmaceutical companies are interested in the how to uh, prepare antibody, uh, uh, antibodies and also the how to produce the antibodies. Because of the from the industrial scale, the how to construct, how to produce the very important issues. So then the, we focused on the uh, biotechnology, especially the process. Uh, also, also that we are focused on the Chinese hamster body cell. This is some of the uh, first is that derived it almost with the uh, 60 years ago. Uh, but in the fort, more than the 40 percentage, some of the uh, biologics was produced by uh, this cell line. We are cultivated this cell line and also the increasing more and more, sometimes do the cell engineering of these cells. So the uh, I think is I prepare some of the, uh, sorry. <clears throat> oh, something please, <laughs> wait a moment. Uh, this is some um, the uh, example of the uh, companies uh, structure of the protein production. In the, sometimes uh, uh, companies produce a cell line and also small scale to large scale and also purification. The. Our department also the uh, cell line development or cell culture development or sometimes focus on the separation. Uh, my interest is in the, some cell line development and cell culture development. And very briefly, some of the ice cap is that this is because of the, this is some a little bit of uh, detail. <coughs> and this is an example of the, my laboratory, some of the we are using of the bioreactor systems and also the uh, shake plus culture for mammalian cell. Well, this is a small scale is a bioreactor for selecting of the uh, mammalian cell, more suitable mammalian cells. So the picture here.
Well, this is a special type of the uh, bioreactor. Uh, the, you can see some small impeller is inside here, air it is here, also the major the PHDO and the bioreactor is not one, On, uh, totally the 24 bioreactor uh, we are controlled and also automatically measure cell concentration and also the optimized cell cultures. Uh, this is a, a complicated some of the picture, uh, but uh, current uh, mammalian cell process is not a co completely some the uh, established. So then the, uh, my laboratory cell line development and cell culture process development, and also the how to uh, uh, construct and uh, collaborating with uh, pharmaceutical companies. Of course, there's other laboratories, uh, Fuxak Sensei's laboratory is more focused on the uh, uh, the type of the uh, bacteria or plant or mammalian cell or some of the Uchiyama Sensei's laboratory is uh, more focused on the, some of the product itself. So there are many persons, uh, many laboratories also that are related for the uh, pharmaceutical uh, uh, production. Uh, so the, uh, sometimes a uh, uh, student, uh, also the uh, department student, I'm not so the good at of the uh, mathematical the analysis. Uh, but is, uh, to increase of the product uh, concentration to focus on the uh, increase of the cell culture uh, concentration and also keep it a very long time is a very important issue. How to improve of the cell culture also the strongly is affected so in the uh, product concentration and also how to improve of the intracellular reaction and also construction of the cell line is a very important issue. So then the, uh, we focus on the uh, cell line development and cell uh, culture process development. So the uh, uh, my final ultimate goal is uh, some the uh, sometimes is uh, uh, to discover with the drug sheets uh, some uh, some of the scientific background supported for then the drug sheets, the unix sheets or mechanism of disease, and also the changes in the production phase. Uh, we are. Uh, focused on the uh, Chinese hamster of cell, cell science or some of the mix or large uh, uh, scale of cultivation and also the establishment of the cell line construction, quality control, cell culture or downstream. So the, uh, uh, by very free, some say conclude of the uh, my uh, laboratories. Also the uh, my laboratory, it's just uh, one of the laboratories at uh, some Osaka University Department of Biotechnologies. Uh, Department of Biotechnology, it's uh, some the, uh, including some of the several type of the biotechnology related laboratories. Uh, Fukusaki laboratory focus on the some more some metabolomics. And uh, Kinoka laboratory, some focus on the IPS or stem cell cultivation. Uh, Uchiyama laboratory is a uh, focus on the some the uh, product itself. Uh, macromolar uh, molecular is a meaning of the some protein or the vaccine the, uh, molecule or some of the molecular analysis, or some of the uh, uh, biochemical, uh, no, no, uh, phys uh, physiochemical analysis of the uh, product. So Watanabe Sensei's laboratory focus on the bio bio environment, environmental the system, especially the uh, fo uh, focus on Daphinias. Or Muranaka Sensei's laboratory focus on the plant biotechnology. Uh, there are some of the uh, genome editing uh, technology and also construct of the suitable the, uh, vegetable or potato or something. So my laboratories. Uh, Fujiyama Sensei's laboratory is some of the more focused on the applied microbiology, including of the produce of the therapeutic protein by yeast or plant cell, or sometimes uh, they are using mammalian cell. And Honda Sensei's laboratory more focused on the applied microbiology. Uh, they are some of the focus on the metabolic engineering of the uh, microbiomes. Uh, that under some of the, uh, uh, this is IC Biotech lab two laboratory and also the main the Department of Biotechnology laboratories. Uh, if you are interested in uh, these uh, laboratory is uh, related for the DDP programs. And also, the police are uh, contacted to the uh, suitable uh, person. So, the uh, I uh, concluded my presentation. 
Uh, now, is there some the very beautiful autumn season almost finished? <laughs> so, then the, this is some the uh, picture of the fall, but in the normal is some November. Uh, November, the, you can see, is a changing of the leaf uh, color, so red or yellow. And also, there now is a, almost the no leaf uh, in the trees. Uh, now, is a, we are preparing for the uh, severe uh, winters. So winter season and also that you can enjoy the snowing in some time, two or three days in the winter. Or some some student is very interested in going to the, in the mountainside and also enjoy skiing or some snowing. So thank you very much for your attention. Uh, I've closed is my uh, intro, very brief <laughs> short introduction for the, in the my laboratory and also Department of Biotechnologies. So please visit the homepage. It's uh, easy to uh, connect to the, uh, your uh, smartphone. Uh, because of the, uh, my, our, our, our department homepage is uh, for suitable for the smartphone. Thank you. OK, thank you, Omasa Sensei, for the uh, introduction to the lab and to the other labs at uh, Osaka University who are receiving students of our double degree program here from uh, ITB. So uh, we will continue to the next session, which is uh, sharing from a uh, supervisor of a uh, double degree program at ITB, Ibu Marcelina. Ibu Marcelina. Okay, uh, thank, thank you. you uh, so I think I will not uh, share a lot, uh, but uh, actually uh, the double degree program from uh, from ITB, from a bio biotechnology program with Osaka University. It's a very uh, good uh, double degree program because uh, there are already some uh, graduates from the double degree programs uh, from ITB and as well as from uh, Osaka University and uh, they got also a very good uh, work position when they already uh, apply for the works. And of course, if you join the double degree program, of course you have to work uh, harder than uh, as usual, but you can get a lot of experience in academic because you can uh, join the uh, an advanced laboratory in Osaka University if you are uh, ITB students or for uh, Osaka University, you can also join our lab. And then uh, you can, uh, besides uh, the academic uh, experience, you can also uh, have a lot of uh, culture experience in uh, abroad in, in Japan if uh, for uh, Indonesian students and then uh, in Indonesia, in Indonesia for uh, Osaka University students. So you have more uh, benefits than uh, uh, if you compare with the uh, use uh, the, the regular students. So uh, I think uh, this is actually a very good uh, uh, experience if you can join the double degree program because you have uh, more because you can get two degrees in once in two or three years in your study if you uh, apply the double degree program uh, as a regular students uh, if you apply the degrees or the uh, master degree program as uh, regular students you need more time, probably four or six years, probably, I don't know, uh, because it depends on the students. So if you are uh, lucky and you are very smart, you can finish in four years. But if you get, if you join the double degree program, you can uh, finish in two or three years. And then uh, uh, you, don't need to pay a lot actually because if you join the double degree program, the uh, the tuition fee will be 
uh, in the second parties will be also waived so that you don't need to pay the uh, the 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 tuition free if you for example if you study if you join the double degree program uh, for the, uh, the Osaka University or from Osaka University to Indonesia. So you don't need to pay uh, more, but you can get two degrees in once. And then uh, you can have a lot of experience. Uh, so for the student, for example, the Indonesian student, uh, I saw from my students, who joined the, the double degree program, I saw that they were very happy to join, for example, Faris in uh, Omasa Sensei Lab at that time. And then the students from Osaka University who joined the double degree program in ITV, they were also very happy. So for example, Kana joined a lot of uh, uh, a lot of Indonesian cultures uh, activities. So uh, she joined a lot of activities uh, in in our university, and also they 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 can also have a lot of other experience in Indonesia. So uh, so you can uh, you can join the double degree program, and you can. Uh, you can also uh, enjoy your time uh, in university as well as in, in the new culture. So I think it is all uh, Ibu Meta. Thank you. Thank you, Ibu Marcel. Uh, yes, I remember that uh, Kana especially, she was not only studying here, she also enjoyed her time by joining the volleyball group at university at the ITB and then as well as the yeah she she had a lot of friends here at the yeah she has uh, not actually, yeah not only actually not only the ones from SITH yeah. mm -hmm. actually it depends on the students <laughs> Okay, so moving on to the next agenda, it will be the sharing or of experiences from our families. You know, Hak as one of the alumni of the GDP program. So Faris was supervised by Ibu Marcel here at ITB and by Omasa Sensei at Osaka. So Faris, the time is yours. It's up to you. Um, I mean, yeah, as you asked me uh, previously, so yeah. Sorry, sorry. Ah, so sorry, there is an alarm ringing on my phone. Uh, so uh, can I share a screen? You sure. Okay. Um, Okay, can everyone see my slides? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, uh, good uh, afternoon, everyone. Um, so uh, in this session, uh, I would like to share my experience about uh, DDP program, uh, the point of view from a uh, program alumnus. <laughs> so um, let's start. Wait, it's a bit error here. Okay, ah, okay. so uh, let me introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Faris Dinul Haq. I was a bio, uh, biotechnology student in ITB in uh, 2018 until 2021 and also enrolled in uh, Osaka University since 2019 and just graduated uh, this September. So uh, I 
I was also a double degree program student uh, from year 2019 to 2021. So it is, as you can see, uh, me doing my final defense uh, with uh, my supervisor here, <laughs> Omasa Sensei, also uh, come in this session. Uh, so, uh, uh, first, uh, so I have two supervisors, one in Indonesia and one in uh, Osaka, and both of them uh, is attending this session, Miss Miss Marcelina uh, and Omasa Sensei. <laughs> Thank you, Omasa Sensei and Miss Marcelina. So, so I would like to share three uh, uh, parts about uh, uh, this sharing session. First, about the lab. Second, is about uh, life as an uh, Osaka University student and uh, about living in Japan. So. Um, there is uh, three parts I would like to share about the lab. So uh, back then uh, when I was in Japan, uh, I was enrolled in uh, Omasa Sensei Laboratory. Uh, there is a uh, three uh, experience that uh, I really enjoy during uh, my stay in Japan, my stay in Omasa Laboratory. First is international lab mate. So, uh, like uh, in uh, Omasa Laboratory, the fr uh, I have a lot of international friends. There is one uh, here from Thailand, from Japan, uh, and also from Egypt, Nigeria, uh, and even in China. So you will meet a lot of uh, international students in Omasa Laboratory. So, uh, and then uh, you can speak both languages, both uh, Japanese and also English. So. Yeah, if you um, uh, what is it? If you want to practice Japanese, you can talk with your Japanese friends, and also if you want to talk in English, you also can talk uh, to your uh, international admit. And all of them are very kind, really. So uh, I really recommend you guys to go Omasa Sensei Laboratory. <laughs> and then uh, the second part is uh, the facility in uh, in the lab. It is uh, I would like to say it's. Uh, a very great so uh, before the, back then uh, I uh, there is a, a lot of machines that I never see before uh, like uh, flow cytometry and then advanced uh, protein purification uh, and then a lot of uh, advanced cutting edge machine is available in here so I think if you and also if you want to purchase a lot of uh, consumables or reagents, it is very easy here. Uh, uh, I mean, not here. It is. It was very easy in Japan, back then in Japan. So if you plan to do uh, an advanced research, it is very possible to do it in uh, Osaka University. And then uh, in Omasa Laboratory, we also have lab outing. Like uh, once a year, we will go to somewhere uh, and spend together. With a uh, lot with all the members of Omasa Sensei Labor Omasa Laboratory, so uh, it is very fun. You can interact uh, a lot with your friends, Japanese friends, international friends. Even uh, <clears throat> then, uh, I was playing Tepok Nyamu, if you know. <laughs> so I I uh, I teach a lot of I teach Japanese students how to play Tepok Nyamu. <laughs> it was very fun. <laughs> okay. Um, Next uh, is life and uh, Osaka University students. So what you will get uh, if you uh, being an Osaka University student? First, of course, international exposure. As you, uh, as I told you, uh, you will meet a lot of international students from everywhere around the world, from America, from Africa, from China, and a lot of. Uh, Parts in the world, so it gives you how to say the cultural experience. How you have to interact with someone that really have different background and train your uh, English also, and then also uh, try how to make friends with other international. It's very different compared to what uh, what it what it is in Indonesia. So it is a very valuable experience to try and enjoy the international exposure as an. Uh, Osaka University students. And also, of course, great professors in uh, Osaka University. Uh, here is uh, Omasa Sensei picture with me. <laughs> so uh, as, you, as you heard earlier from Omasa Sensei pre uh, presentation, uh, he, le he lead a, a very large group uh, in biologics production in Japan, and also uh, 
collaborate with a lot of industries in Japan also. Even uh, back then, I was surprised that one of the kits that I kit our reagents that I use uh, have uh, Omasa Tensei have a part on that uh, kit development. So uh, you you will uh, meet a lot of great professors back then in uh, in Osaka, and also great student support. So this picture here in the right part uh, is a praying space uh, provided by Osaka University for Muslims. So. Uh, uh, the sports uh, in there is very nice. Uh, you will, you don't have. Uh, if you need any 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 help from um, the staffs, uh, they have uh, English speaking uh, staffs to help you in everything you need. So the support is always is also very nice in Osaka University. Uh, and last is living in Japan. So. This is the reason why now I have missed Japan already, even though I just <laughs> come back to Indonesia this year. First, of course, uh, Japan's four season. Uh, in Japan, you will have winter, uh, spring, and uh, summer, and also autumn. So uh, it is very, how to say, a uh, very great experience for me to first early uh, uh, feel the soft of snow and then see uh, in, in the winter and then also uh, look uh, enjoy autumn when the three color is changing. So it is very uh, fascinating for me to enjoy uh, the changing season in Japan. And also uh, in Suita, especially, uh, we uh, have a very great Indonesian community. So uh, in Osaka University, there is a lot of, there are lots of uh, Indonesian students in Osaka University. So, and uh, the Indonesian community is also very strong there. So if you want uh, here in this picture in the middle, this is when I was uh, celebrating uh, Idul Fitri in Japan back then with uh, Indonesian friends. So we make rendang and then opor together. So it is, it, this is also very uh, valuable experience for me. And then the last part, uh, uh, is Os Osaka uh, is located next to Kyoto. So as you know, Kyoto is very famous for its traditional uh, vibes and experiences. So I went to Tokyo to Kyoto a lot and it's very close to Osaka. So I would like to say that being close to Tokyo is also a very uh, good uh, experience. So uh, in in Osaka, you can go a lot of the beautiful places like Kyoto, Kobe, Osaka, and a lot of places there. Okay, uh, that's all from me. So I think it's better if you, if uh, the participants have a question uh, for me, so I can just uh, answer it, uh, whatever uh, the participants wanted to know. Thank you. Arigato <laughs> gozaimasu. Okay, thank you, Paris, for sharing with us. It's very lovely. Uh... Uh, from your presentation your time it seems so also enjoyable and fun uh, it's very envious for me because we lecture cannot have one year <laughs> program <laughs> there in osaka right in uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay um so yeah now we're going to uh, start the uh, discussion session uh, we are now welcoming questions from, from the students here. Please don't hesitate to ask. You can ask in Bahasa, that's also fine, or in English, up to you. Um, yeah, so go ahead. Ibu Meta, sorry, I just want to mention that we oh, yeah, have sure, one Ibu Osaka Saskia. University student who is also attending today uh, that is interested in double degree program. So maybe, oh, yeah, yes, we have uh, one, is uh, his name is Riley. So maybe later he will also ask some questions about how to apply to ITB. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Hi, welcome, Riley. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, so uh, question, please. Okay, so perhaps uh, I'll just ask Ibu Marcel. Uh, 
um, usually Ibu Marcel from, from the experience, uh, from the past experience of our double degree student here from ITB. How long did it, so we have around eight, right Ibu Marcel or nine alumni? Eight alumni? Uh, no, five, uh, six, uh, five alumni actually. Uh, okay, we so have five, five, alum, 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 five alumni from ITB and there were two students from Osaka University who joined the double degree program in ITB. Okay, okay. Yeah, so from five alumni, our alumni, I mean ITB students who, who went to Osaka, uh, did they all manage to finish on time the study? Because yeah, uh, I heard that some of the students are concerned as well about the, the, uh, the time frame of the study. So actually, uh, uh, almost all students are finished in two and a half year or three years. So from starting from uh, they, uh, they, they, they uh, uh, registering in ITB and then after that, until under finish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so another concern is that about uh, funding because uh, it's only the tuition fee that is waived under this program. So do you know if any of the students, any of our five students in the end paid for themselves or uh, did most of them uh, get scholarship uh, once they arrive at Osaka? So as long as I know that, uh, uh, most of the students got the scholarship from uh, Osaka or any other scholarship from uh, Japan. And then there were two students, so, so three, three students got scholarships. So uh, Faris uh, got scholarship from uh, Omasa Sensei Laboratory and met, uh, Meut, Meutia. And then uh, uh, the other students, uh, two, two students, uh, they, they have to pay by themselves because they didn't get the scholarships. Uh, yes, and Ibu Marcel, uh, Stephen and Marvin also got the uh, Stephen also got the scholarship from NSK. Oh yes, yeah. Okay. okay so so NSK, NSK is a special scholarship. I think Ibu Sastia. Uh, yes, it's provided from uh, a foundation in Japan for specifically for double degree program students. So students of ITB and also students from Osaka University both can apply for this uh, NSK scholarship. And to my knowledge, uh, the recent student under Fujiyama Sensei's laboratory uh, also gets a scholarship, I think, from JASO or something. Oh. So there are several scholarship opportunities available. Okay, so the students, uh, they shouldn't be... Uh, terrified <laughs> that once they arrive in Osaka, they will not get any scholarship. So, um, so actually, there are plenty of scholarships or sponsorships uh, to apply uh, to to fund their study at Osaka. Is that so, Ibu Sasti and Ibu Marcel? Uh, yes, um, there are scholarships that can be applied after uh, arriving in Osaka. For example, like one of our students, Marvin. He got a special scholarship, honor scholarship from MEXT um, after coming to Osaka. It was around 80,000 yen per month for two semesters, um, but that was after enrollment. So the scholarship before enrollment, uh, like I mentioned, maybe there's the NSK scholarship. And uh, we have in our laboratory, uh, Arisa Sato, who is a Osaka University student, got that scholarship and also um, Nathanael Steven from ITB also got the scholarship. I think uh, Riley raises his hand for a question. Uh, Riley, yes. Yes, hello. Sorry, Riley, is, uh, 
Okay, yeah, you can ask uh, uh, directly, Riley. Yes, please. Uh, okay, uh, thank you uh, for the <laughs> thank you for the introduction to the program. I just have um, two basic questions, if that's okay. Um, the first one is, I believe you had mentioned earlier the possibility of graduating in two and a half years instead of the full three years for the program. I just want to ask, under what conditions would you be able to graduate earlier than expected? Does that mean that you have to uh, compress the master's research in order to finish it quicker? And that's my first question. For my second question, for um, for an Osaka University student such as myself, I am just wanted to know if the timeline that you had presented earlier would be similar for me. Um, I mean, if I would have to spend one year as well in ITB doing my classes there. Uh, that's it, thank you. Okay, so yeah, thank you for your question, Riley. So, um, maybe I would ask first for the first question. So actually for the, here at ITB for the regular program, it would only take two years to finish, so four semesters. Uh, so that's the, the normal case. With, with double degree, uh, it would be two and a half years. Um, so yeah, five semesters. Um, so we're not compressing anything uh, in our case to our students because the regular program itself would only take four semesters. So, so yeah, that's, that's kind of, um, that's kind of, yeah, nothing that we really do special to, to, get, to get there. And uh, regarding the timeline for you, um, maybe Ibu Sasti uh, or uh, Omasa Sensei later can add but then what is expected during your one year here at ITB is more or less the same. You can, uh, you, 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 you have to take uh, 10, sorry, transferable 12, if I'm not mistaken. So 12 credits will be transferable from ITB to Osaka. And then you will also do a research here under the supervision of uh, our uh, staffs here, our professors here. And then also you, you need to do your final defense here. But sorry, I'm not sure about your time left at Osaka. Perhaps Ibu Sasti and Omasa Sensei can help on that uh, question. Probably I would add some uh, answers uh, to your answer, Bumeta. So why uh, it is uh, two until three, uh, two and a half year until three years? So it is because uh, Ibumeta, uh, Ibumeta say that uh, 10 or 12 credit will be os uh, possible uh, to, to be uh, transferred from, from Osaka University to Indonesian so ITB. So therefore, uh, actually, uh, in the normal conditions uh, for Indonesian students, for, for ITB students, they have to finish uh, the study uh, if they are already finished or they, they can, uh, they have joined uh, 36 uh, credits. And then in Osaka University itself, they have to finish, they can finish their uh, master degree program if they are already finished with 30 credits, if I'm not wrong. So probably uh, Master Sensei or uh, uh, Sastia Sensei can uh, later explain again about the requirement in Osaka University. But if you join the double degree program, so you can transfer the credits from uh, uh, from ITB to uh, Osaka University 10 credits and then from ITB from Osaka University to ITB uh, 12 credits so that uh, so that uh, they are uh, they can uh, they can re the, the total number of the credits are, are reduced but actually the the uh, the time for your uh, study is uh, you can uh, you can have uh, uh, you can have a shorter time for you to to finish your study, and then the other things that uh, why it is also uh, shorter because the start uh, the research usually the research from ITB and in in Osaka is a uh, continuous 
a study. If uh, so, you can you you have a, a big uh, research program, which is actually you can do part of it in ITB and part of it in 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 Osaka University, so that you can you can uh, save your time uh, better. Uh, and then the student usually can finish uh, uh, earlier, so two and a half and until three years. So that is why uh, the Indonesian student or the ITV students can finish uh, the study in two and a half until three years. So for the uh, for the uh, Osaka University, probably Ibu Sastia or Omasa Sensei can. Yes. Can explain. Okay. Uh, in case of the Osaka University students, is uh, 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 we already some explained about of the credit and also the past uh, mid-term uh, uh, examining and also the final defense. But depending on the, I don't know the some the uh, he is joining a fit course <laughs> depending on the which course is he enters because we have the now is a several programs starting for April program starting for autumn program <laughs> depending on the which program so then the uh, schedule is a little bit different so then the uh, first of all so if you direct to the short on the times uh, ask to the uh, Kinoka sensei head of the DDP program of the our department please ask directly it's better also, the, uh, because of the COVID-19, uh, when you direct to visit Indonesia, also the uh, strongly affected for the situation there. So then the, uh, if you direct to short on the time, is uh, uh, my suggestion is ask to the Kinoka sensei directly first. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, sensei, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And also very, very welcome. Okay, yes, uh, thank you. So we have uh, Jennifer Kim already raised her hand. So, Jen, please. Okay, hello. Uh, uh, hello, Sensei, and also Bu Meita and Bu Marcel and Bu Sastia. I would like to ask some questions. Uh, the first one is for 2022 admission. Will the study be hold online or on site for the DDP program? And is it possible for the 2020 students to apply for the program as we are cur currently in our third, progressing to fourth semester? Uh, and also uh, I would like to ask how many percentage of the research progress in ITB have to be made before we are going to Oseka? Uh, that's the first one. And I also still have several questions. Like, is it possible to apply for elective courses in uh, when we are joining the DDP program from Osaka University? Uh, is it possible to apply for elective courses outside the biotechnology department? And regarding the facility, is there any dormitory for students? And if I I might know uh, how much does it cost? And also <laughs> uh, regarding the students life in Osaka University, is it possible for students to join student activity units? I personally would like to join table tennis club if there's any. And lastly, is it possible uh, for student to apply for part-time job or like Arubaito as I might need to uh, send some money back to my family. Thank you. Okay, oh, okay. thank you for your question. I, I, I think yeah, some of the so uh, directories are uh, uh, far <laughs> for the detail of the student life in Osaka University first. Uh, in case of the uh, part-time job, I, I can ask to, I, I can answer the part-time job. Uh, part-time job is uh, some limited by the uh, visa status, and also the uh, student have the limitation of how uh, long. Uh, it, uh, I think one week, some of the 90 hours or something, the limitation is existed. 
So then within the limitation, the, uh, we, uh, everybody that can work as a part-time job. And depending on which type of the job that you would like to just select. <laughs> of course, there are several types. Of course, there are some of the laboratory, some of the, some of the technical assistant is also possible. But sometimes there are some of the working for other places is also possible. Uh, it, it's my answer. The Faris, come please. <laughs> I, uh, maybe I will ask. I don't remember the question first about yeah. I, first about the part-time job, I think almost essential already answered that question. And uh, the second part is about uh, can international students uh, join uh, some club activities? Um, in my experience, I, I, I know one or two students, Indonesian students who uh, also join uh, club activities, but I don't know whether it's really possible for um, I'm fast. I mean, double degree students, since we already have a lot of things in our plate, I think, like do research and uh, study and uh, social life. So I, I don't know whether uh, it's really possible, I mean, to join, uh, like the time constraint, it depends. But uh, if you really want to, I think I saw one or two Indonesian students also uh, join club activities. Hmm. So, and uh, wait, uh, there is a uh, question list. And is it easy to find accommod accommodation there in Osaka University? So about this, uh, there is uh, what uh, we call co-op co uh, in Osaka University. So uh, this co-op is like um, uh, starts from Osaka University then can, can help you to find the best uh, how to say it, uh, Apato, we call it Apato, based on your preference, range, distance from the campus, and a lot of things. So I think uh, they will, uh, they are very helpful. So back then, when I was in Japan, also uh, using uh, the service to find me new apartment. So I think it's uh, very easy. And also, if you need any help uh, from uh, uh, Indonesian students in Japan, they have a lot of recommendation uh, if you uh, want to know more about it. I think that's uh, about uh, living in Japan. <laughs> Maybe the other question will be answered by another uh, uh, professor. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Paris, for the, your answer. So uh, the first question was, uh, Jennifer is Jennifer is already on her third semester. Are you now, Jennifer? Yeah, that's correct. So then if so, coming semester in January, that will be your fourth. Yeah, in that case, unfortunately, it's perhaps it would take too long for you to finish uh, your master's degree if you're joining, if you're joining this double degree program now. So meaning that you will have uh, extra one year of extension and then another half semester, of, oh, sorry one semester to finish uh, your study here later after coming back from Osaka. So yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I need two be... years actually, Bumeta. She need, she will be, she, Sorry, will, she will need two years again, two years more. Yeah, so yeah, for Jennifer, unfortunately, uh, it will take two, too long for the time for you to finish, perhaps to graduate from this degree. Uh, yeah, and then about the research progress. So how far in the research progress that uh, you will be able to go to Osaka. So for example, uh, now that we have this uh, information session, for those of you interested, you can start looking for your um, lab, for the lab that you're interested to join to and then uh, align your research here with your uh, target lab or with the lab that you're interested to come. Uh, align your research here with the research topic that you will be conducting there at Osaka. In that case, uh, your research topic will, be, will get bigger, but then it is, it's like under the big umbrella of your research topic here and your research topic at Osaka. So it's a continuing topic. Uh, okay. I guess uh, all the questions from Jennifer are uh, answered. Uh, oh, okay, Ibu Sasti also answered in the chat uh, chat room. There's another question 
no, not another. There are five questions from Vitri <laughs> Hasnaulia. So the first one, what are the requirements uh, for this? For the first question, I will forward to, to our group of students uh, here, the WhatsApp group, the requirements to join this double degree program with Osaka. So uh, yeah, later you can read uh, the, the documents that I will send. What if my Japanese language skill is poor? Should I take some lessons first? So perhaps uh, Ibusasti or Omasa Sensei can answer yeah. to that. Uh, yeah. It is not necessary, but uh, you can join uh, with the, uh, some preliminary class. Uh, the class is uh, decently some um, yeah, you can join online. <laughs> also, the uh, laboratory members can speak English, and also my secretary uh, or some other laboratory secretary will help you. It's no problem, some um, yeah, you can speak Japanese, but uh, gradually uh, uh, you can learn Japanese, no problem. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. Yeah, so don't worry about it. Uh, it's not necessary for the uh, academic life, but you still need to be able to speak Japanese just a little bit uh, so that the person in the supermarket doesn't set higher price <laughs> to you. <laughs> uh, uh, if I'm not wrong, there is uh, this, the Indonesian students should also uh, participate in Japanese language class, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Uh, yes, that is correct. It's possible to join a free Japanese class for international students. Okay, thank you, Busasti Marcel. And then the third question, perhaps this would be for Ibu Sasti. Uh, how to collect information about an SK scholarship, Ibu? Uh, unfortunately, NSK scholarship only opens like two or three slots every year. And it's a university recommendation based. And usually they, they ask us in advance who we who will be interested. So when there is a candidate, uh, Osaka University will give the name and, and then the NSK will consider based on the recommendation. So it's not like something students can apply directly. Okay, thank you, Busastia. So uh, for the students in this case, it will be best if they uh, start... Um, start introducing themselves to the uh, lab that they're interested there. So then if there's an opening for the scholarship and if the lab feels like these students are uh, eligible for the recommendation, then they, they will recommend these students. Is that so, Ibu Sastia? Yes, for NSK scholarship, that is correct. And for the honor scholarship or the scholarship provided from the laboratory, uh, it's also a similar way after the student is already decided and uh, the preparation to enroll is already completed, usually we will inform the candidate students or the students who have already been accepted on some possible uh, scholarships that can be applied. But yes, we, in principle, we in Osaka University try to do our best also to uh, give as many information and opportunities uh, possible for the students to uh, get funding but uh, it's also important to note that this scholarship is not guaranteed. So students who apply for the double degree program should have in mind that they need to prepare for one year of living expense at least. They don't need to pay tuition in Osaka University, but living expense mm -hmm. is, uh, they have to prepare. Thank you. Yes, that is correct. So uh, also for the visa application, uh, it is necessary for you to show the amount of living costs uh, that you have in your uh, in your uh, bank account yeah, uh, during the visa application. Uh, I mean, it is necessary to get the visa, but hopefully then you will get the scholarship so that the money that you show in your bank account will not be used later when you're uh, conducting your research at Osaka or your study at Osaka. Okay, so uh, the next question, and I think this will be the last uh, due to the time, about the tuition fee, so your tuition fee will be waived either for uh, Osaka students coming to ITB or ITB students coming to Osaka. Uh, so you will be paying regular fee, I don't think so. Uh, so Faris, if I'm not mistaken, you only paid like 250,000 uh, rupiah, right? During your DDP program to ITB, you, you know? Mm, I'm a bit forget about that. 
uh, a little bit forget. I think uh, I paid, uh, yeah, 250 for each semester. Yeah, you're not even paying for the tuition fee, only the administration money, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, true, true. So I didn't have to pay for the tuition fee, but, but only administration money for about 250 per semester, if I'm... 250,000, yes. Yes. So yeah, for ITB students, your uh, tuition fee at Osaka will be waived. And also at ITB in case for Paris, uh, I hope that's still the rules now. Uh, he only paid 250,000, so not even the tuition fee for the semester. Okay, living cost in Japan, yes, yeah, sure. Uh, you have to, to, to show in your bank account for the visa and then even though later it will be paid by any scholarship if you get any. So yeah, about the, the first, uh, the, the requirement I will send later to, to all of you in the group uh, and then you can read from, from the documents. Uh, it's already 2.30 here and it's, I believe, 4.30 uh, at Osaka. Sorry, I'm so bad with times all over the world. Um, yeah, so thank you again for your uh, time, Omasa Sensei, especially, and then Ibu Fastia, Faris, and Ibu Marcel. Thank you for um, willing to share with us uh, this afternoon. And for all of you who, who come and uh, yeah, joining this uh, information session, I really hope, well, we really hope in the future there will be more of our students coming to Osaka and vice versa from Osaka to ITB. It is very lovely to have Osaka students here. Um, yeah, it's such an international exposure to our students here when we have Osaka students here at ITB. Once again, thank you very much. Oh, one well, sorry. Before we finish this session, uh, could you please put your camera on for those of you who can? Uh, could you please put your camera on? As usual, we will have a photo session. So, kalau menyalakan kameranya bagi yang bisa, sekarang kita akan sesi foto dulu sebelum sebelum selesai. Hello, Ibu Sasti. Hello, Sastia. Hello, Ibu Marcel. Hello, Bu. Ustaz mungkin bisa dibantu. Oh, okay. Silakan yang masih bisa menyalakan kameranya ditunggu. Udah mungkin ya, Ustaz silakan. Silakan senyum satu dua. Okay. Uh, is everyone ready? I will take the first slide. Okay, one it's only one slide. Yeah, <laughs> okay, only one slide. Okay, uh, uh, keep your uh, best pose. One, two, three, cheers. Let me copy it. Once again, <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Okay, I think it's uh. Done, yes. Thank you, Rustak. Okay, thank you, everyone. Uh, have a great Sunday and weekend to you all. Um, yeah, hopefully we can.